In this video, I talk to the Premier Gal and she shares three of her biggest tips for getting started in video editing. Coming up. The following video is brought to you by the Yi 4K Plus, the world's first 4K 60 frames per second action camera with built-in electronic image stabilization and an integrated Gorilla Glass touchscreen. The Yi 4K Plus delivers exceptional video results at an affordable price. To learn more and to see some test footage, just go to yitechnology.com. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES. I'm with Kelsey, AKA the Premier Gal. How's it going? It's great. It's super busy here and it was so awesome that I got to run into you. I mean, there's thousands of people here, so what a coincidence. Literally over 180,000 people here in Las Vegas. We ran into each other. I've been wanting to connect with her for a long time because I've actually been using Adobe Premiere to edit since 2003, even longer than the Premiere Gal, apparently. A lot longer. <laughs> but nevertheless, she is awesome. She's got a great YouTube channel helping with tips for Adobe Premiere, but she's also just a great video editor and really smart when it comes to YouTube and a lot of these things in general. And so I wanted to get some of her tips for those of you that you want to be creating content, telling your story, sharing your message, but video editing could be a little bit intimidating, can't it? Yes, absolutely. And the best way to get started really is just, I mean, there's so many resources. I mean, my YouTube channels, like lynda.com, you can get, you know, free trials there. And it's really just about practicing and just, you know, playing around with it until you get comfortable. And, you know, as a woman in this space too, I mean, 90% of my viewers are male. There's not a lot, of, it's intimidating. I was like, and a lot of women out there don't know how to break in, but you just have to do it. You just have to put yourself out there talk to Sean. You see Sean at a conference, go up to him and say hello. I mean, we wouldn't have done this video otherwise. I love that. Yeah, you definitely just got to jump in and get started. But I asked Kelsey, what are her three biggest tips for getting started? So let's just break those down. Tip number one, if someone wants to get started video editing, what would you recommend? So I was lucky enough to start in high school and I had access to free resources. So if you know of any free resources, you have a local library, go there, see if they have any you know, software on their computers that you can play around with. Um, I actually went to college for film school too, so anything education-based, I would recommend as a great starting point. I love that, and you actually recommended a couple different sites. You already mentioned a few, but what are some of your favorite resources for tutorials and even getting trials and things like that? Sure, um, I'm a course author for Pluralsite.com, and I create sound editing courses there, just general Premiere Pro tips. There's also lots of other authors there. There's also Lynda.com and of course YouTube. So Pluralsight and Lynda, you can get you know free trials. That's like 30 days of free content that you can learn from. Imagine what you can do in 30 days. It's a lot. I love that. And then what's cool about, as she mentioned, you can do these free trials. So even if you've got a month to dedicate some time, you could download the Adobe Creative Cloud for 30 days, try that out, check out those, and really just get your education going. And as usual, we'll link uh, all these resources and any others we talk about in the YouTube description below. But what would be your second tip for uh, getting started with video editing? So with video, obviously you need video to work with. So actually, if you can't get access to a camera, there's tons of free stock video sites like pixabay.com. You can download like 1080p HD stock video and just start playing around with it. I actually use a lot of free stock video in my tutorials. I also have a membership with pond5.com and I also write for them. So there's tons of stock video that you can get access to and begin, you know, doing some tricks, creating some cool transitions. It's all about getting your hands dirty. So that would be my second tip. I love that. And then lastly, for those jumping in, what would you say? I would just say, you know, collaborate with people. I mean, you need to interact with other people to be creative. I mean, as a YouTuber myself, I find that sometimes I spend way too much time on my own. And then that's when I feel like my content starts to suffer because I'm not out there. I'm not engaging with people. I'm not seeing stories because to be a good storyteller you have to live and you need stories to tell so go out and experience things like like this right now we're collaborating because we went out in the world 
I love that. Such great tips. And, and I love just the theme there too, is that ultimately you kind of just have to get started. Like I think about this, if you've ever gone to the gym for the first time, which clearly I haven't spent very much time in the gym yet because uh, the guns are not there. But I, whenever you walk in the first time, it's the most awkward thing ever. Like you, you're not wearing the right thing. You don't do the machines right. Anything you do the first time, it's always your worst time. But once you get started, you learn as you go. And so jump in. We have tons of resources for you in the YouTube description. But then also um, talk about your channel and we'll link that up as well. Sure, sure. So I started my channel in August of 2016. It's all how-to videos on how to do certain video editing techniques from Premiere Pro to After Effects. I also do some Photoshop as well. I love restoring old photos. So if you have any old photos, I like to actually clean them up and colorize them. Um, and also just general like tips on how to like maybe start your channel, kind of like Sean's. I'm starting to dive more into that now. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's uh, youtube.com slash Premiere Gal. Awesome, awesome. Well, question of the day coming from Premiere Gal. What style of video do you want to start creating? Definitely post that in the comment section below. And remember that some of the best tips, insights, and feedback come from you, the Think Media community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you want to see other videos in our series from CES, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.